Yellow. All good, all good, all good, good, good. The engine sound of the airplane. Yes, we are in the part two of making airplane sound with us. And we'll making the we'll be making the engine sound today. For which I'm going to use different approach. I'm going to use sampler. Did, did you use sampler before? I don't think so. So you you love it. You love it. I love the sampler in Studio One. Um, just with the sampler, we will get the gr 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 sound of that engine. Let's start. Isn't ever if you if you want to watch other videos, uh, go check other videos. I will leave something here or here. Anyways, bye. So we had this sound. I mean, I've changed it a bit. So. So I made th that sound when it's in that peak to stay a bit longer because it's not like cars. Airplane is not like cars. It it stays. That that sound of it stays for a while. Then it goes away. You know, there's this part where like ah shut up. You know that that part. And uh, so that's why I made it a bit longer. The peak. Engine. Engine, John. Uh huh. What we're doing? What we're doing? What we're doing? Yes. Sampler. I'm browsing the sampler here. Found founding the sampler and then sorry, who are you? Uh -huh. And then dropping didn't sound good that word, dropping. Um let's well basically you can add you can add any sound, but I want some bass. So in the loop section I will just look for a bass sound. Although no, <laughs> why this wouldn't work because they have the tk sound. Although wait, that could add some attack. And also what I don't like here, as you can see, it cuts here. Where is the tail? Studio One, where is the tail of the basses? Are you kidding? Like that is not acceptable. Where is the tail? You know what? No, I'm not going to find any sound here because, well, I, just, I hate just looking for sounds. It's better for me to create one. <sighs> That's actually how I started designing, gosh. Because, well, it's boring to look for sounds. It's like... I don't like it! Better create myself. I mean, no, wait, why am I creating myself? You have presence here. Presence, uh-huh. Come here. You have nice bass sounds here, right? Right? <coughs> ah! Dios. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, Studio One, you're just so cute sometimes. No, we're not working with you yet. New tools, so we work. Oh. Don't stop. Wait a minute. Um. Okay, works. Pause this and edit to simple one. I have a shortcut for it. You can just click right. I mean, right click <laughs> and then audio sent to new sample one. I will do it with my shortcut that I've assigned. And hi, cutie. So cute. I love so simple one. It's so nice to work with it. I'm going to delete this. Oh, hold on now. <coughs> delete this guy. Let this guy too. And wait, hold on, no, no, no. 
What happened? Where is my sample one? Wait, you guys, what did I do? Where is my sample one? No. Is the ah. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, that's why when you create the sounds, just name them, okay? Just right here, the engine, for example. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Okay. Uh huh. Now, what we are going to do, this is the fun part. Okay. Mm hmm. And here we will do the funny part. We'll loop it here, a looping bone, so it was like king, 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 here like this. But I want faster. Faster. I said faster. Yes, let's pitch it down a bit. We got it, you guys. So simple. A bit distortion, bro. Let's see how it sounds with the sounds we've got so far. And of course, as the engine is there, like far away, far away, we're going to use it here to just close it down. So it's not just uh, that obvious. And yet, let's use those automations within the, within the here. Example this one. Let's copy this. Oh, sorry. You need to wait to make it. this change here? Here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, good. Should we use the uh, uh, pitch sh pitch bending too? I don't want to use more pitch bending because for now I feel there is a lot of pitch going on. Ah, and also by the way, what I've changed also here, I in this pitch automation parts. Wait, where is it? <laughs> yeah, in some cases I just did not like a car, not like a. Mm, but more of a mm, because it's uh, in airplane. In the case of airplane, it doesn't really come from. Um, <laughs> it <do> what? <laughs> it doesn't really come from very low pitch and then rise. It's usually just the same pitch. Lower, and volume is low, but it's not the same thing, right? You know, you know that. So, um, the pitch is like a bit lower, just a tiny bit, but it's not that noticeable. So it's like goes mm, more high volume, and then it goes down in pitch. Gosh, I'm talking too much tonight. I think it's fine. We will work it out. We will work it out. Uh -huh. I, I will stop now. We'll do some tweaking for this sound maybe in the next one. Next part. Third part. We'll add uh, air, the dynamic sounds, the windy sounds. We also have the sound tone that goes opposite to um, rising. It goes like from up here, lowers and then goes up it's like ah, so cute it just this sound is so with so many layers i love it um yeah that's it 
I should stop talking now and you should check out other videos if you have time. If you don't have time, I hope you have a good day or night or I don't know what you're having. You have days and that's okay. Uh, but if you want to check out some of the videos, I mean, I would say no. You know, I would say you can check this one. <laughs> I don't know if this works. Okay, but, but, stay here. Okay, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't have anything to add. <laughs>